lecture i am going to discuss about how to copy tables from one database to another database using microsoft sql server so here you can see adam database is there so i want to copy the tables of adam database inside json database okay so let's see the queries so with the help of query we can easily achieve that so you need to write here select a star into then after here destination database you need to give the name so giving the destination database json and after that let's use here dbo and this space here you can see our departments table is there so you need to give here meaningful name so let's give here departments and after that here from now you need to give your source database name so adam and after that or uh, here hr schema and using the departments so this is your source or tables here you need to specify json that is database name or uh, this places here json db is the schema and newly table that's going to create with the name of departments and this from adam hr departments so this place you can see a star that i've given so that means all the column of this hr departments tables that's come inside json okay now if i run this query then here 20 so rows or 27 rows that's affected if i replace then you can see on this table departments that's come there after that the next is here or uh, we can or uh, give some or uh, 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 column names also so this time so going to create new tables so let's give here a scott dot dpt so using a scott dot dpt this terms and here giving go uh, the new table name dpt and here adam a schema that going to select a scott then this from dpt so here if i run this query select a star from a scott dot dpt now running this query then you can see here three columns is there so i want to this place or uh, three columns like dpt number next here l or c that's it so here this is now the table has three columns but i want to create the tables with the two columns only so if i run this query four rows affected now let's replace here the database so you can see new tables that created with the name of dpt now if i run here you can see the new tables that created with the name of uh, dpt and it has two columns so this is how we can or uh, take the copy of tables from one database to another database in microsoft sql server so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you